In the year of our Lord 1528, I finished my first book written in the English language, titled Dialogue. This was mainly directed against the heretic Tyndale's writing. In my book Dialogue, I defended the Church's doctrine and practice of the invocation of saints, pilgrimages, miracles and so on, and proved that the Catholic Church alone is the infallible interpreter of Holy Scripture. I declared Tyndale's translations of the New Testament to be heretical and untrustworthy, and clearly pointed out the heretical bias for which Tyndale had adopted new renderings of words in his translation. His purpose was to conceal the true meaning of the originals. Thus, for the word priest, Tyndale had substituted the word senior, for the word church, congregation. The word confession was changed to knowledge, and the word penance to repentance. He changed the word grace into favour, and a contrite heart he changed into a troubled heart. These and many more texts Tyndale untruly translated for the subtle maintenance of heresy. Tyndale and Barnes were constantly pouring out the foulest abuse against the whole Catholic Church, which they damned to the devil and accused of foul idolatry for the last 800 years. Yes, and blasphemed with villainous jests and railings against the saints, against ceremonies, service to God, the very sacraments, and most of all against the precious body and blood of our Saviour himself in the most holy sacrament of the altar. What I hated was the heresy itself, and not the persons of its professors. I did not care a jot about attacks upon myself, but the church I defended with my whole heart and mind against the attacks of Tyndale, Fox, and many others. I was the chief magistrate of a Catholic country, hitherto in perfect peace and unity in matters of religion and I foresaw the utter confusions and misery that would overwhelm Our Lady's dowry of England if heresy was allowed to spread unchecked.